Game flying through Mirage as we prepare for Big versus Heroic. The first of this best of three, the second game of our ninth day. Myself, Pansy, and Sponge hanging out. Excited to see Tabson as well as Searson, of course. Good to see them still having, I, th I think it's safe to say the firepower advantage might very well lie with Big if all their players are online. But I, I will remind you, I've seen Nico, Stown, Tessus, oh, yeah. Borup, all of them are definitely hungry to de develop and to continue to prove themselves. Keto's about to find his first fight, and wow, very clean. The fact the bomb hasn't shown there, that could be enough to sell the fact that that was just the lurk. I'm intrigued to see how this one plays out. I see Stown instantly with the flash to hand. That gets put away. I think they're You're trying to sell that. Now, I think you read it right. You see the smokes coming in too. This is all but a ruse, and that bomb still stays in place, but so does Keto. He's not fallen off this either. Nico's on the way around to maybe try and support it. The stack in <laughs> CT. Okay. Now, Keto has finally fallen away. They might have heard the steps. I'm not too sure if they did, but Tessa's keeping them busy, keeping them pinned in, and Keto's fallen for it. Yeah, they have completely eaten the bait, gobbled the hook, and down. Survival is key. It's integral. With his P250, does go down, but now the bomb will too. Keto from short, an opportunity, and he keeps hitting these what? one bangs. It's real clean. Tessus is going to put the meat grinder onto Tapson oh. or not. One Tapson. And there we go. Cadian will fall, and that will be a big plan conversion. So just to run everyone through some of the past members on Big that you maybe are forgetting, obviously Nex was on the team for a while. God B, he's no longer on the squad. I think he's still part of the big management over there. He's uh, over on Valorant now. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, playing he's, some of that. He's, he's popped over. Okay, well, it's good to have somebody with that kind of a big brain involved in uh, that game. Maybe he can help you guys out with the flashbangs. And Easier to hit the, the watermelon stuff. heads for God B in his old age. Now, uh, Toby <laughs> is actually the, the coach of Big, for those people who aren't, aren't aware. Toby's taken over the role of the coach of the squad. He came from Sprout, and uh, he always looks like a very stern gentleman. Nice beard. Yeah, no, that's, that was my review too. Nice beard, nice stern beard. gentleman. Stern yeah. gentleman. No, I'm well, I don't speak German, so unfortunately I don't know what he says. <laughs> like fair, though, on it. I have the problem of every time I hear German men speaking English, I just assume they're being more rude than they are. Yeah because their language is stern. Precisely, and they're very direct with their speech when learning the English language. Now, Sirison is one I want you guys to watch with the scout. One of the best scout players in the world at the moment, at least by my read. Someone who can make it work in any circumstance. Are we talking like MBK in his high point, making the scout look viable? Sort of like, you MBK know, one and only? using it to jump and, and yeah, 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 the dirty that back ways. in the day. Sirison is using it like a very, very fast orb. Ooh, sexy stuff. Well, that's exciting, isn't it? I wonder if he's good at time. That's that's a unique nade. But Tapson does find Cadian. So already, a lot of the threat's being quelled quite early. Oh, don't mess with Tapson today. Seems like he got out on the right side of bed, softened up Tessus for the scout, the aforementioned scout hero that is Searson. And there's another prime example. These Deagle and armor squandered. Tizian about to pass Nico in the smoke, and he does catch a glimpse. It's enough to convert, and four players still standing as they do convert their second round. It was Deagle armor from Heroic, so they will be forced to stomach an Eco. What a throw. Strong arm and peeking on the uh, obscurity from the nade. These wheat bix this morning, or wheat bix for present company. Thank you. What did you call them? Wheat bix. It's the same. We just took a letter out. <laughs> Loza, of course, we're going to shorten things here, mate. Uh. <laughs> yeah, guys. Yeah, you've got to expect short things from Australians. Hey! Hey! Like oh, that's hey. Uh, what's the soundboard. The soundboard would be great there. All right, it is just going to be the pistols, a couple of P250s, Glocks in play. Imagine a bomb plant, Chadney. They're uh, trying. They're trying. Dream. Imagine if somehow Keto starts rotating off B, and they are, and Cadian was walks on in and gets that bomb plant. Cut to Cadian. Cut to that plant. And Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. They have managed to get a bomb plant out of none other than a full eco. That's that's not too shabby. If he gets one kill here, takes a full M4. I mean, at this range, it is a one-shot headshot. He needs something, but yeah, that's the end. And they're not going to complain about that at all. Unfortunately, neither will Big. Three frags on an SMG. Tizian going to pocket himself $1,800. Real clean as well. Five alive. Oh, he's rhyming. He's adding. He Who am the... I? He is the full well, package here. We sat outside, we got some vitamin D in the uh, in the break. Oh, the sunshine is just a magnificent creature. Isn't it just? I understand why people worshipped it. Yeah, you know? I still do. Exactly. That is my god. Like, I'd rather, I'd, I think I'd rather. Directly associated The good with... food in catering, yep. which has been absolutely bang on. They do the say sun. the way to a man's heart is his stomach. It, yeah, well, they're, they're nailing it. He's in it. love with the catering. He is. Guy. Honestly, he keeps flirting with him. Well, Thank you. Walk in oh, and let I me put my plate away. Bashful. Hey, guys, I'll, I'll, put, I'll put your plate away as well. Like, it's just more excuses to talk to him. Dad, why are you constantly in the catering room? He's just what obsessed with Noah's catering. <laughs> <laughs> I love these nerdy nades we're seeing from Big. Yeah, there's plenty of them. 
Nice aggressive. Hey, Rampmaids and Tizian. Well, they're not softened up enough for this to do anything more, but he's anti flash. Oink. Yeah, oh, baby. This is a good sign of things to come. Cadian. Oh, he's in a perfect position to catch. Tabson on the peak. He does just catch him through the windowsill. Down low, but still functional. Me. Down low, but still functional. Literally, <laughs> mood. <laughs> Kito and Tabson, though, I, I think this one's out of the realms of possibility. They did get the all police, so that's a nice little bit of recovery. Duke, 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 duke. Say what you want about the M4. It is a more satisfying kill. Mm. Love the silenced the M4 yeah. or the... Oh. It's like the USPS, right? Duke, 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 duke. Uspus. Uspus. Tabson really needs to hold on to this one here. He should be fine. Looks like he's made the right choice of picking his poison between middle and T-spawn. And Cadian's not going to get too inquisitive now. So, Thompson to preserve the AWP. Looking at the money, Chad, we are going to be seeing everybody equipped. Yeah, and if you're big, you're not too disappointed with how that one went down, especially saving the AWP here. And the reason is you went for an aggressive play with the bonus guns over towards the ramp, and then you gave up some picks after that. So, it's not the end of the world. Uh, obviously, every team wants to get a 16-0 in the back pocket if they can. And let's just find a few frags from Keto here, doing as much damage as he can economically. Cadian with a couple in the round. And uh, Nico gaming with the door open. Don't know how I feel about that. I always like to make sure I'm in my closed gaming environment. Maybe he lives alone, so he can just have his I mean, door that's sure. Open. That's sure. But I don't know. I just like kind of feeling safe with the door closed. I, uh, I guess I'm just weird. But Molly's dropping out. I'm going to be seeing Borup respond with a flash in kind to maintain control of that ramp room. And so he'll be able to walk on in. Should he desire a look at this test for Nico? And he does well to find one, to be honest. They double peaked it, and he goes one for one. Another way the conditioning's already beginning. That early use of utility just to claim back. Ram that oh, through <laughs> the legs. A headshot jump peek from Xantares as Searson steps out to draw your crosshair away from the side peak. It's all very calculated from Big Clan. Good to see they've been doing their homework and making good use of the uh, online era. One of the things that Heroic have done very well that we've noted is faking across the map, especially within these late rounds. Something that we had seen from them against G2 was mid-control smokes and then posturing, either going cat or connected, depending on where the picks came through. And as we have a minute left, they can actually go for a very similar play. You can see the smoke towards window, one now through towards connector. It does look to me like they want to go for an A split. But I love the fact they have tabs in there. He can just be their get out of jail free card if he plays it safe, right? If, but also there is a bit of a, a two-one punch with that where if Searson goes down, Tamsin has to retake from ramp to Searson. Doesn't look like he's intending on going down just yet. There's more where that came from. From the ramp room, Borup arrives. Tamsin yet to be able to contribute. He's still flat faffing around in T spawn. Searson flashed off, but double kill found. And oh. his smoke CT will cost him his life. Oh. That enables the plant. Let's see how this uh, card works out. It looks like Borup might be considering it already after that. Maybe a bit of information was relayed, but. Gets a better room nonetheless, so the site feels smaller for the T's. They feel a little bit more boxed in, but banking on CT as being their safe haven. Already looking towards maybe Xantaris as the first player to fall. They've claimed it. Nice work. Now the other two, we've got what? Jungle and Ramp. Keto's the one advancing. Tabson's got it all set up. It. Yeah, they could. And he will. Seconds. Five seconds starts counting now. Oh, Tabson falls off the bomb. I think Heroic have done enough. He can't really contest this. Tess is playing the time. Cadian surviving does get the first, and he'll be have to retreat. Recovers the AWP. That's something. It's a consolation prize. But Heroic, they handle that well. Yeah, I think Big a little bit unfortunate. They didn't have a kit there for that retake. That would have really helped. It meant that Tabson could have tried to stick the defuse, and they could have covered from a wider angle. This is how it kicked off towards the palace position. So good trade from Sirius in there and grabbing another. He's coming through the smoke. That was cool by the side of things of Heroic. As the flash comes through, one goes towards stairs, one goes towards jungle. A little bit of a pounce. And you can see here, Tessa's making sure it can't be diffused in the final stages. And he's happy with that one, old Tessa's. Seen him be a hero in some of their matches over within Cologne. Tabson has the AWP out. We picked over towards window, initially smoked on off. And this is one of the reasons why Orping window can be such a volatile position. You're rotating immediately. If most teams are being diligent with their smokes, it's going to be a B finish as we can see the bomb and flashes heading on through. Nico to entry. Out he goes. Should be clean. Gorgeous. Nice work for Nico. Accidental into Keto, I think. Yeah, I don't think you meant that one, but he'll take it. It'll be, yeah, no, got him. Easy. <laughs> bomb plan. Let's see if they can keep it nice and clean, though. I'm sure that's high on the priority list, and I don't think they're going to get much challenge out of this, really. Yeah, you don't need to chase if you're on the side of things with Heroic. You know it's going to be a gun round in the following. Keep all your goodies. Don't give away too many kills. Don't give over any AK-47s for Tizian and Sirison to carry through as freebies. 
I definitely don't give him a Zeus kill. Oh my god, it's Goldeneye. <laughs> it's the golden gun just coming out. Hey, Rush. Yeah, what up? Do you remember Goldeneye? Uh, a little bit, yeah. I did play that back in the day. I wasn't too much of a... What was that, an N64? N64. I don't think MC would have been alive when Goldeneye no, was out. No, probably not, actually. You ever play Odd Job? Uh, I, that's the Isn't guy with like, the hat, so right? so short? Was yeah, yeah, he like, had a smaller hitbox. Yeah. It was what the rats played. I just assumed that would be Rush's choice. Excuse <laughs> me? <laughs> Excuse me, oh, I didn't... still on the mic. Oh, I didn't realise you were oh, still here. Okay. Um, uh, the mic, cut the mic, cut the mic, cut the mic. Cut him out, cut him out. Hmm. Co-caster now. <laughs> <laughs> Right. See a zero for Stown. Going to keep our eyes on that. Don't can't have an underperforming player when you're stepping into a boot camp big. And I see many fans of the Berlin International Gaming Squad certainly besotting the German audience. And here comes Katie with a very audacious peek. He wants to make sure the ramp is heard, or rather the AWP on ramp is heard. It would be weird if you could just hear the ramp. I don't know what sound a ramp would make. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe not. Bonk. Nice. It's exactly what you want to control mid. Falls back away from this and I'm enjoying Sirison so far. I, I, and I think to me, I'm, I'm very much used to looking at German sides as not quite being the headliners. And I think it's it's a new new day, new age. They certainly have warranted the respect that they now garner. Double ops in play, of course. So I know Sirison was over towards A with his, but now Kito gets to have a little bit of a shot of it too. Plenty of players coming his way. Let's see how much he can do with this one. Very isolated too. No support in question. Can't Whoa. make it away. Nice play from Stown. In we go. Quick reflex off the back of this thing. Tabson might see maybe one on the cross at most, but he's not Whoa. stopping. Oh, he's done so well. He will get swung on, but keeping it level, stopping that bomb from going down, it's certainly a huge contribution. So is that deep molly. All three for the retake just completely locked out. Now they've got smokes blooming as well. Bombs planted and contested. Stown's got a smoke to drop towards the kitchen door. Be safe. Yeah, that's enough. It's unfortunate because it looks like it could be a very exciting round if they were to go for it. But the reason you're outlining that utility usage from Heroic, it just locks them out and the clock would be way too low. They can't even be presented with any kills. If it was a situation where it wasn't smoked off and they could posture and wait within that checkers area, maybe somebody from Heroic gets a little bit lackadaisical. They overpick. They jiggle when they shouldn't, and they get taken down, and the retake could be on. But now we are looking at percentage Counter Strike as Big will be holding on to their goodies. And the loss bonus is starting to mount right now. It's four in a row for the T's, so. Catering's here, I can smell it. <laughs> it's all he thinks about. <laughs> oh, bless. Counter Strike and a bit of food. So uh, 2,900 will be the loss bonus going forward for Big here. They should be able to drop some guns. Tizian can drop an M4. Uh, I believe it was Zantara's who was at the top there, should be able to buy himself too many issues and here was the opening towards middle nice just over the top of the smoke nothing crazy to write home about but this is great movement baiting out the shot and then the instant peak from stown you do love to see that that's the teamwork in play makes the dream work have a nice days back lauren oh we're gaming we're gaming Always it's four sign. in a row it is indeed and it's all with bomb plants yeah. you don't see that too often chad no not at all and, and actually with I'm pretty sure I just saw Tabson with a Zeus, so maybe they won't be investing into this one. But timeout is indicative that at least they need to have the discussion. Look at that. Look at the recap. Two of the rounds, they got the bomb down in the loss as well. So we've seen a bomb plant in six of the seven rounds so far. That's a, that's indicative of Heroic having an operational T-side from the get-go. Yeah, not too shabby at all. It's, it will be the buy. Admittedly, it also could reflect on Big's willingness to play retake. That is true. They haven't really played too aggressive just yet. You've no. noticed the orbs are bit deeper. They're allowing them to take the mid control that they want to go for. This is going to be a fake of the mid default that they have been doing straight into an A hit. So three over towards Palace quickly. Stan will be over towards Ramp. Oh, he's heard the footsteps. Nice. This is, this is, oh, clenching time. He's, he's worried. He's nervous. He's got players on every single front. Overwhelmed eventually, but Tizian's still alive. Yeah, if they can't knock Tizian off his perch, they're in trouble. Oh, oh, what? Cadian finds <laughs> it. That's just nonsense. If Nico can survive, Cadian can support. He does get caught and that's the end. It's four, four, big clan. Well handled in the end. And I have to give credit towards Tizian there just for survival. If not anything else, it enabled Cadian to hit a nut smoke shot, but it does keep them by them time as those frags came in. Let's see Searson again. So getting Tessus. This is the Cadian shot just as the smoke bloomed. Very nice stuff, but well handled by Big Clan. So that's the first. They break the uh, the spree. First in the last five rounds. Oh, they've got the kicker table behind. Very Deutsch. Mm. Sehr Deutsch. Im Deutsch. Mega. Mega. Alright, so Cadian again patrolling with the AWP over towards middle. This time it isn't such a direct approach. 
The pace change not working in their favor whatsoever. They are set up and postured with the bomb over towards Palace with three members again. So this is clearly a weak point, something that they want to abuse, something that they want to be able to flow out onto the site and bully Tizian, who is the A anchor. Tabson will be in tow through connector, so if they can draw his attention or if they can take him out of the equation, maybe they can isolate a one-on-three duel on the site. Tizzy has been really quite diligent. The timing, I thought he was going to be done for, but no. Delivers on two, that's massive oh, work. Yeah, nice work on the A anchor. If Borat wow. just walks into the site and blows off two heads, Tabson and Searson face to palm. And now suddenly it's a competitive round all over again. Borup's hit pause, rightfully so, makes a lot of sense. Kadian hoping to catch someone in rotation, but I wonder if Keto Mantle's here. Did he see it? I think he did, just the tip of the head. He's certainly hoping that Keto would have a little look. The reason Borup's positioned here as well is so that they can't con convey any additional information as to his location. 30 seconds for the bomb retrieval. He'll get that. He wants to plant open here for Kadian, who's trying to play the post plant over towards Catwalk. Kito can contest. Himself. Unless he goes triple. Oh, baby. Perfect. And the incendiary keeps him safe as well. Flash on Borup to get out of position. Kadian's got the cross, though, so he doesn't really need to move a muscle. It's all on Kadian to hit this shot, though. Here we go. Who's the first to go for it? Looks like we've got Zantaris feeling up to the challenge. That's life lost. Now, just down to Keto. Able to isolate Borup on the side, so it's game back Smoke on. Smoke on the ground. Ooh, oh, he's gone we... for the orb. Wait, orb in this? Oh, that's bold. He doesn't know that Kadian's already moved himself towards jungle. He's peeking towards it. Nicely played by Kadian. Taking the time. Moves around. And gets the second kill. He's right, playing a great game here. Yeah, Bar up there really bailed them out with that quick double kill. I think we might get that on the highlight, but Tizian, I didn't think he was good for more than one there. So he's done more than enough. This is the frag here, which opens up the site and turns it into a competitive round. And then the way that they just postured and waited, they got the information that the, t the CTs were coming through spawn and, oh, tiny little gap there, but Kadian does everything he needs to do. And that's put Big in a position where they need to go for a save. It's going to be a light buy, as you can see, Investment for a couple of the individuals. Deagle's across the board. MP9 for Zataras, and this one's fast. Yeah, they're not stopping. Katie and the only one to take a bit of a peek. The rest kind of filtering through towards middle. Molly comes in and they clear as they go. Nice little Molly to clear out the corners, ensure safety on this one, but there's still players plenty present around here. So as the window smoke fades, they could become vulnerable. Certainly if Borup gets some pressure applied to him. Bessus could clear this out now. He does find Searson. Heroic, well, it seems they're always aware of their win conditions in the round. Okay, oh. okay. God, three quick kills in middle does force Nico into an aggressive stance, and it's certainly not looking too great now. Tabson recovering an AWP of all things. Keto tanked down half. <laughs> down to uh. flank, though, at Cat. Come on, Stown, let's see if you can bail out your boys. Tabson on patrol, though. Top mid is going to be a huge problem to I'm get not ready past. For this. Let's see if he gets anything. That's one. Oh, spots Tabson. Okay, so game back on. Stowns are <laughs> trying to find out any information. Keto's tucked in towards jungle. Nico's mind is on the bomb and maybe considering trying to find Tabson. They've seen one of these two players now. 28 seconds. Nico back. does get oh. the bomb, but it's Keto waiting time perfectly. Put it all onto Stown. This will be quite the turnaround. This was just a half buy. Big Clan have done enough. Tabson has done enough. 15 seconds. Keto spotted on default. Tabson on connector. He exposes his bottom. Jumps for confirmation. Gets the first. He's got he seven killed. seconds. He has to hunt. Five. Closing the gap. Keto has to swing and he gets the frag. Big from Keto. Triple kill for Berlin International Gaming. Pulls him across the line on the half buy. I thought Heroic had clawed it back. So close. Smallest margins. You saw how long Tabson was waiting in that window, and same could be said for Keto towards jungle. Big plays. Big plays and a quiet celebration. Good to see Big Clan remaining restrained. It's a big turnaround and puts us once again into the five to five. Gadian's face does it all. Very emotive player, you really yeah. can see. So wait for the nades. They don't have any flashes, so. You know the story. Yeah. Going for a walkthrough round. Just watch the left hand side and watch as that lovely stock of Ghiblis next to underneath the weapon starts depleting. The longer this round goes, there's another one. 
Just watching them all go out. Tizian's getting rid of his flashbangs. Everyone's throwing money down the drain. There's a smoke towards yeah, but... apps now. Count Watch, dollars. Watching the, mo the money fade away. It's Heroic's plan. And it's so far translating nicely. Stan might want to show something, a little ankle, to keep him interested. Whoop! Great shot. Searson tracks the moving target that was Cadian. A bomb plan absolutely ideal, but far from possible. As it seems that Searson and Tizian have done enough. Deagle, maybe a chance for a one deeg. Oh. oh, two bullets connecting from Borup. Unable to translate into a frag, so spotless from Big Plan here in round 11. You notice the way that Sirius and Tizian did that? So as soon as Sirius takes the shot, Tizian is there to pick up the mess, right? He's the catcher. He's going to catch in case there's a miss. He got the second kill. And at that point, if the Palace player comes out to swing onto Tizian, should be the easier fight because you think Sirison's over towards Ticket looking towards Tetris. Well, guess what? Sirison's now taken the gap that was left open because Tizian had to fill the feed towards right. Tetris. So it's just a nice little simple crossfire. But as long as you know the way that the picks are going to go on down, uh, look, you can place some fantastic counter-strike like that and put the sixth round on the board. So really, first shot. Yeah. And then you see him reposition, right? So now he's already looking towards the palace and he's now tucked away from Tetris. So Tizian has that leap. They can't get past Tizian. Simple stuff, good stuff. What we like to see. The basics of Counter-Strike. And we will be getting back underway with the guns here, ladies and gentlemen. So a UMP for bow up, that doesn't sound fantastic and maybe it won't work out that way. A set piece potentially. These are the isolation smokes towards middle. Vito, he's away. Let's see if that UMP's any good. Flashed up. Dead as anything. Trade comes out though, but Searson's there. It feels like the trades are so comfortable for Big when it's all going so right. Good pressure across the map though. They have baited out a chunk of utility and taken space. Nico, this <sighs> duel is insane. He's opened up the A bomb site right now. Look yeah, at the push. That's going to perfectly open the door. Like they, the only reason they're getting away with this is because of Nico's ability to lurk and to convert. It's down, pivoting through middle, perhaps a different change of plans. Okay, they want to make sure they actually continue to think it's A. If he kills Antares, this is promising. A chance perhaps, but repeat by Tamsin. Jumping to confirm he's alone. Look, Cadian's going to go for a plan. This is ridiculous. It's a 2v2. Nico might even be able to sell that it's an A, play, an a plant. No one's there to hear the beeps. Yeah, this no is idea. perfect. This is perfect. Okay, no, they're cracking it. They cracked the code now. What the hell is he supposed to do with this? Tucking in towards get right. The longer they spend faffing around with a boost, that's info for him. They do have util, so technically they could try and clear the late round. Oh! oh my god, they didn't check it at all. <sighs> Just witnessed someone getting away with murder. Well, look, I'm going to paint the picture for everybody here. That's what's so fantastic about the fakes. You saw it drew everybody away towards that A bomb site. Then, as they realize, oh dear, they've made us look a little bit silly, they now have to clear every single angle because they were not in a position to even know where Cadian, first of all, had planted for, where he'd moved to within the post plant, any of that information right there. So Cadian, he's positioned himself in this scenario perfectly. If they've come through kitchen, if they were rotating through one of those positions, maybe it wouldn't have been so great. But he's read this one well. Found himself a nice double kill. And to steal one back after we saw that Keto and Tabson connection for that low buy win just in the previous. Bigger finding themselves able to buy. Heroic are the ones taking the tactical timeout just to talk through their options. Or doesn't have a gun just yet. Maybe he won't go with the UMP again. Didn't have an opportunity to even fire a bullet. Oh, no, he will. Okay, so. Give it another crack, mate. How does the saying go? Bitten. Once, Once bitten, twice shy. Once bitten, Once twice shy. That's all. Wham? Probably. I just thought George it was the Michael. Same. One of those. Or DM. That's it. First name. <laughs> he was a CS course. player. <laughs> From and the he, UK. And he played, yeah, toxic. and he played for Infused or something. Yeah. Oh, I played for Infused. Chad, let's not flame. Let's uh. I did chill it that in out. A bad way. Chill like, it out, Chad. Chill it out. It's just a UK orgy new. Yeah, it's hurt my feelings. <laughs> That's hurt Sirison's body more than his feelings, but Tessa's going to make things worse with Antares. It's heading towards B, but Keto's present. Yeah, and Keto can do more than that. He's got a lot to deal with here, and he can jiggle for the confirm and finds Nico. Maybe another Keto is a turret. Stay away from B. A message he sends with bullets rather than words, but my goodness, that is magnificent. Borup, only a UMP, likely going to get caught here on the timing. Tizian confirms. Poor old Cadian lost his teammates, his brothers in arms. And this could be a long one. This could be where we start talking about our favorite Pokemon. Mine is the dog one. <laughs> now then, Chad. <laughs> Going to start from the top there.
dog one. Yeah, I, I think it starts with a G. Dog. Dog Pokemon. Pokemon. I was in the Poke store in Tokyo at the start of the year, actually. Before. How was that? It was, um, there was lots of chibis and weebies. I'll give you the hot tip about that one. Yeah, believe that. Everyone needs a stuffed Pikachu on their who's cupboard yours? gathering dust. Alex, who's your favorite Pokemon? Um, personally, I was, I was a bit of a sucker for the Blastoise uh, story arc, you know, squirtle into the big kind of uh, cannon shell man. Okay, yeah. I liked Cubone, sad. Cool guy. Cried a lot about that oh, storyline, yeah. dude. Oh, Cubone, he's always crying in the forest. We found out what the dog one is yet. Having a look. It must like have been Jolteon a or something? Oh, yeah. No, it wasn't that one. That was from Eevee, right? That yeah, was, uh, you loved Eevee a bit. Oh. Had like the fire pony, didn't he? Fire, fire pony. pony. Yeah, there was a. Flamey on. That's the one. There was a pony that was, was from fire. Fire pony. Jolteon was the. Uh, yeah, there was a bunch of those. I don't know like the other generation ones. I don't uh, know. First gen. First. Growlithe. Growlithe. Oh, there Growlithe is cute. And then he went, he went into like Arcanine, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. We made it. We got there in the end. And uh, Psyduck was also one of mine. Alakazam. Nice. I like the Spoony guy. Spoonie I liked all the guy. Psych <laughs> You like the weird guy. ones. Yeah, all of the weird like um, psych whatever they're called, psychic ones. Yeah. Yeah, man. Did you ever actually play the Pokemon game? I think me and my dad game sat Boy. down at one point and we like, kind of started cards, faffing. It was like cards oh. and you had like these little. Uh, glass gemstones that you'd use as resources I or never mana knew or something. What it was. I just yeah, I remember I remember we gave up very quickly. Yeah, yeah. my first card I ever got was a I think it was a dugong. Ooh, it was my favorite, okay. and my friend Jeez. just gave me it. I was like, wow, I can trade this. Onyx was cool. Okay, that's yeah, enough of that. Yeah. All right, round fourteen. Here we go. We've got pistols out. We got the. Well, got the full investment. Rifle. They're forcing yeah. around fourteen. Yeah. This is. This is the hero on Stown, so he's going to have to do a whole lot. They're setting him up for success, though, as he's got lots of boundy tech nines going to be jumping around corners before him. That nade looks destined for success, and it is halves the health of Nico. More where that came from, too, but already they're established, and Nico's peppering Searson down to 14. Oh, that gives yeah. them some space. There's a world where they can convert this. Tamsin has to be quite the hero. Free fire's not there. Stown is. Tamsin gone, and Caden again on the lurk. Look at him go. Channeling is in a blame F. Goes down this time. See how slow they were to rotate? They hadn't even left the site. They were still considering B apps as a possibility, and the bomb was already planted. So once again, the misdirection is left big without a clue. They know it's A. The problem is, if they go for this and they lose these rifles, yeah. they don't have any money going into the final round of the half. So this will just be another save. And the crazy thing there is, Heroic literally just led for underpass. And there was a player yeah. above them. It was Zentara's up towards Cat. So he's hearing all these footsteps. He's going communicating underpass, underpass, underpass. And the timing of that nade, it was good, but they were still isolated. And the fact that the individual who was forced forward on the side, I believe it was Tizian, goes down without too much of a fight, that was real trouble. Seriously taking damage, Tapson unable to convert more than one kill and uh, well easy as you like heroic make a round out of nothing and put themselves instead to win the half here oh yeah um so i'm sorry i was i was having a little look at the map but i was sort of saw someone said i like spoony man too and it just made me laugh spoony man <laughs> spoony man too. Like, yeah spoony man's good you know, like, or whatever wasn't it? <laughs> yeah seven seven though what a score line this is this has been quite the game I, I didn't know what to expect coming into this i think they're both in a bit of flux but yeah no I, I i've loved this half and i think heroic have it's the first time I've seen them look really quite good on Mirage. I think we've seen a couple of games where they haven't been able to manifest what we've seen here, but a this has been of lovely. Games. Ooh. Bit of a slower approach here from Heroic off the bat, not wanting to go with the pace that helped them succeed in the previous. And that's a good call because they have the goodies. They're the ones with the utility, all the weapons. You can see again, Tabs and Tizian on the Deagle. Seriously with the AWP. Kido has to be careful on the fading time of this smoke. He might even get flushed out by a Molotov here. They've really postured up. Kadian looking deep with the AWP. Stown ready up close. But remember, keto has been delivering here. His play from a bit lower than here was exceptional. He could do with a bit of that again. Did you get any indicators? Contact. Bloody hell, he's good. He is really having a game from here. The rest need to step up, of course, because the bomb wasn't heading towards B. Surely Keto's done enough. If you, if you kill two players B and you're playing against Heroic, safe assumption is they're on the other side of the map and the nades <laughs> did start flying in in re response to that. That's a nice, easy connect to smoke. I think Tizian's definitely heard a footstep here. And now he's in trouble, he's been spotted. Molly to force him out into the fight. This is perfect play. Searson does well to catch them on the hunt. Still numbers heavily favoring Big Clan with only 30 seconds. Their options becoming significantly limited. Zantara is a bit of an overstep. He gives them far more room than they needed to give. And now that bomb can go down. Tessus, I'm surprised he's not gone to retrieve it. And Searson's caught Nico in the meantime, so now this gets awkward. 
Smokes will fade. Teammates have fallen. Keto. Caught by the wide swing. Hang on. Oh my goodness. Tessas. He's managed to make a 1v3, a 1v1. In the drop of her hat, Searson orping. Pre-fires aren't going to connect. And he's only got 14 bullets for this one. Searson mantling. That's the exposure. The spray's not too shabby. He needs to find a safe haven and he gets caught. With the nade in his hand, Searson just holding the line. He will go ahead and convert. Just making sure he has a kit to save everyone an extra two seconds. I'm thoughtful. Cheers, mate. It's an 8-7 half, folks. Big Clan just pipping them at the post. And that's only the first half of our second series. We'll be back to talk about half two. looking to break the streak against Big. Six maps in a row, all one-way traffic for the Berlin International Gaming Squadron. Here on Mirage, the map choice of Heroic. 8-7 down the middle on their T side. Tess is unable to convert there at the final hurdle in a, what would have been a lovely one on three and a great way to take some confidence into the second half. Here we are, I'm joined by Machine and Pansy. Yo! We'll be kicking off the second half pistol round right away. Tizian and Sirison have the utility. <clears throat> Tizian has a P250. They have some flashbangs and some smokes. So as we head over towards the B side of things. This is very calm, Chad. I like that. I just want to make sure everyone at home is feeling good, feeling ready. It's down. He's Can I do excited ready. yet calm commentary? I don't know. 
I think I'll give it a go. Well, that was pretty nice from Tessus. Certainly was, and it's a great start for Heroic's campaign. Searson clearly has intentions to set up the B finish, but with three CTs currently set up, seems Heroic are certainly well equipped for the big clan pistol round. Moving as a pack. They're leaving the side open. This could be a problem. It really depends on when the go is from big, and this smoke is going to be fantastic. This would be over towards the catwalk position, and it should make sure that they're unable to get back and see towards the B site with ease. There really is just the timing right now of when Tessus decides to push back. Yeah, and that smoke's going to encourage a stown rotate as well. And here we go. Smoke's flying through the air. The flashes will follow. Tessus tucked in on the site. Cajun's on the oh fastest of flanks here, Lauren. Look at that. That couldn't be better, could it? You want this to be clean, though. We know it's difficult, but he makes the most of it. Searson goes down, and now they know there's a timer, and it's right behind them. Tessus unfazed on the site. This is beautiful from the CT side. Newly appointed, bear in mind. And Tabson goes down without a hitch. Beautifully played there from Heroic. 8-8 eight, eight already. This is... Uh, I, I, I feel like I underestimated this game, and I think it's because my mindset is still stuck in, in yesteryear, but sure. big have already proven how great they are, obviously, in recent times, and heroic now, showing even sooner that these guys are truly I mean, up to par. Look at the big clan that you had in your mind. It was like Legia, God. Yeah, it just wasn't there, you know? And, and I said, I, you know, I loved the idea. I liked the concept of big back then, but this is something else. There isn't a name that you could put, on, you could choose from this big clan roster that you'd feel like was, was, was misplaced. And it was yeah. always the case that there was one or two names that we had to make excuses for. Not the case anymore. You know, Tizian was and uh, is a support player, and you yeah. won't expect him to see at the top of the scoreboard, but a oh. big part of their play, and he's, a re he's there for a reason. I'm sure they could justify it if we had the chance to interview them. Yeah, Tess is catching tough. Tizian, though, and these Deagles have softened up two more. In fact, you can see Zantara is converting the hard work of Tamsin now. Another chance. Tess is doing some oh. great work, but oh. Keto's Deagle, he knows there's another, and Tess is re-peeking into that Deagle. He's not phased. He's not scared. Takes himself an org as well for the trouble. Okay, so you're saying this guy's the scout master. He's got it to hand. He's got bore up, low oh, HP. Oh, dear. But he doesn't have Tessus coming through the underpass nah. with an org, so... He had a little look. He had a little... He, had, he, he thought about it for a whole second or two, but he's going to have time to probably get the bomb down. I don't know about those off-plant positions, though. That with might be scout? a little bit... Chad, what's yeah, the, where are you dreaming? Potentially going to bench, so you can take a couple of different jewels, take the scout, be a bit more zippy with it. The bomb will go down. They've now just realized the jig is up. He actually wants to play the post plant towards Cap. They're, they're looking at A. You might get a freebie in the oh back my of God, Tessus here. They don't here. know. This is now they do. Okay. They have a smoke, two smokes, two HEs and a flash. So the problem here is he needs to find a kill before they start defusing. Yeah, is this yeah. cross, Alex? And he should find it. Nice shot into the thigh of Borup. Tessus has a smoke and a kit, and this is when it gets. <laughs> this is when it gets up. awkward. Okay. Need to fall him off. That's so smart. He had to lose his crosshair. And now Tessus is just diffused in front of his face. Whoa! Four DGS from Tessus. Throwing out the nade. It may have just been a happy byproduct, but the fact that Searson was set up with his crosshair on the bomb, Tessus' nade forced him to respect it enough that he had to go and run down the clock. Lovely stuff from Tessus. This is the Zantara's dig, and that was the spicy one from Keto. But that nade did save the day potentially because when he returned a wide diffuse in the guise of the smoke, <laughs> Stown looked like he was a combination of stressed, depressed, <laughs> and satisfied there. Oh, look who's buying back. Big, they don't want to let up because it was a one-on-one -on -one situation to close things out. They will go for a purchase of their own. It looks like it's going to be a fast B hit. So Tizian, he's pushed all the way up. Nice and close. And the flashes and smokes come yeah. out. Look at that pressure. He knows it's coming. So Tess is going to be called upon. Give me some support here, bud. Soften him up on the cross as Antares does make it down. The rest taking the fight, though. He's done well there, too. Has made Stown probably feel a little bit better about this support on the way. Borups Ooh. there. Through the smoke we go. Zantaris now. A 1v4. It's a tall task. And let's see if he can find any more on the way through here. What well, we have Borup on the UMP. Okay, but the next two are the big... Oh! Oh, Zantaris! It's no quick peek, but he does Ooh. well regardless. Kadian maybe didn't feel like he wanted that pressure, but he handled it well at the end. 10 to 8. These rounds, Chad, are ridiculously close at the end. Yeah, and I think we maybe see Big go for yet another force buy. The, the thing here is, the reason I uh, was getting so excited about those Zantara is because this is with the Galil. It's not the AK. He made it look like an AK, Ooh. just smashing those heads away. Unfortunately, finding himself in the scope of Kadian. And here, this is where, do they want to go again? Do they want to dip in one more time? They'll just go for the partial, so it's a half by territory we're looking at right here from that of Big. Smokes, flashes, deagles, all the good Absent. stuff. 
he's, he's up. Pace on him. He's absolutely got his running shoes on. He's having a go. KD and under pressure towards connector. They're doubling back on that. I like it. Oh, oh I love that. Tabson just cracked it open. Tessus now again. Pressure moment for him. But look at this gun recovery they found. Yeah, I mean, killing it, the last player in apps, it does mean they're going to probably assume the rotate's coming in. But you have to peek into Tabson and the boost is smart. Oh, he was ready to check it. Missed shot. He wouldn't. Doubling up on CT. A flash for Sears and caught, catches down and converts into a frag. Team play on point. Oh, this is great from Tabson. Up and over. They're not. Oh, okay. I wouldn't be repeeking that versus an orb. Or I would. You wouldn't. Tabson would. Does Tessas go again for the 1v3? No. Hi. And goodbye, Org for Searson. Interesting uh, T-sided weapon to have, I think. Yeah. So I don't know how I would I don't know what, how I'd feel about that one. Yeah, like, it's not great for jiggling, really. It's, Maybe if you were picking ramp with it. Sure, yes, yeah. Mm. Gets you a better fight towards spawn. Money's broken on the side of things from Heroic here, so they are going for the force buy. Mm, the Eagles in. for them. They want to see if they can do one better than big. Because winning a round like that with only pistols, it was just the limp in. Oh, seriously, had a run boost. So he's here quite quickly, and there you go. Nico not expecting that timing. Normally, the smoke blooming as the AWPA is making it towards the top of middle. So this is good stuff. 20 kills for Sirison. I mean, you highlighted this guy at the start to be someone to keep an eye on, and it, it's certainly the case. He is truly looking quite comfortable here. Now, I wonder how they try and crack open the shell that is kind of surrounding middle at the moment. There's the flash in. Has a little bit of a peek on it. Ooh. Does really nicely. It's down towards Tabson. So they have been able to strike back, forcing out the molly towards connector. Maybe T side feeling a little less like they're in control here after all of that. I think Big really need this round if they want to have a stead in this second half. Losing this one here, they will still be able to buy going into the next, but this is a compulsory. Be. Yeah, it should be a sign up round. I know Deagles and a force buy is very scary, but uh, if they're losing these back and forth, well. Simple math dictates, ladies and gentlemen, Heroku get across the finish line with 16 first. Yeah, but you can see the, the strategy, right? Tessis is pushing B. He'll be calling and trans translating all that information over. Caden's playing incredibly passive on A so as to hope that the clock gets to a point where a cheeky frag on a plant can translate into a round victory. That's the corner Caden spent his entire round in. <laughs> Really at one with the brick wall now. Yep. The flank is coming quick from Tessas here, so it really comes down to when the big want to hit and the oh, chaos on the side. Oh, this looks good, Chad. This looks good for Heroic. I'm getting nervous now. Big Clan are going to have to win their duels and win them fast and in the chaos of having to get that bomb down as well. Look how unannounced they are. Now Stown oh. makes an appearance. That was the bomb carry. It could not have been a better frag. Now Searson. Tessus. Here comes the flank. Zantara's distracted. Need a clean oh, one. Oh, no, Tessas. Oh, he squandered it. Cadian, however, does recover. And oh, oh, he's back in the server. Tessa sends Tizian right out. It's all onto Searson. Great movement. Bomb planted. I think it's planted for him. It is on his side of the triple box. And they don't have a single smoke. So this duel from he's Searson. Oh. He's set for three. He's already got three under his belt. One more required. Cadian. And he can't defuse no kit. He has saved the day. They put their money on the right man. Look at this, and he wins a round without touching his keyboard. <sighs> Gonna get the orb, so there's one positive for We'll take that, but... Yeah, and it was messy, right? If Tessas doesn't fluff that kill, maybe a little bit of a different round. It's not like Zantara's uh, had too much of an impact after this. This was the run what? boost to kick things off at the start, just so we can get to window a little bit quicker. No, by hook or by crook, that is nutty. So Bloody this is the whiff. You don't... You, you, it happens. Yeah, but he followed it up nicely. He recovered, right? This is what we, this is, you know, when they're doing the gymnastics, Lauren, and they land yep. on the mat, and they always they take that one step. He's, that's the one step. He's done the one step. He's the judges, step. they're not getting a perfect 10, but we'll still right. give you the nine. Yeah, the nine. yeah, he's going to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all gravy. What's the money like here? So he had the all left over or picked up, should I say, by Katie yeah. after he got that kill, but the round was gone anyway. So I want to see what he does with it. How can you bring this into play in any sort of sustainable fashion? Obviously, a one and done is fine, but you don't want to lose that thing. It's it's a lot of potent power to it. Seriously, on the other side as well, he's been pretty spot on. 22 kills already as Nico goes maybe out looking, tries to maybe offer himself up as a possibility. Spots a little bit of info there that the bomb is towards top mid, so maybe Kadian 
considering that and now can approach it from whichever way he wants to. I want to see how they use this thing. Yeah, I was curious right there if uh, the big players were going to bloodlust because they'd seen a USP. Oh, USP cat, you know, let's go. Let's take him out of the equation. Let's put some pressure on him. But they've used it as a warning sign. So now it's slow, sauntering back over towards the apartments, taking control of the palace area. If you got uh, Tizian in, in swing right now, he's currently underpass, but his job will also be to deal with the B plays and B pushes. And the rotation is coming back in. So KDM will have the AWP over towards the A site in time. There was a flank going to come in from Bar up yet again. And Stown is the only other one with a pistol, which may be deadly. So that would have been dropped across from Kadian. This round is still interesting. Oh, Ooh, he's just spotted Tizzy in there. So Bar up having more information than he probably should at this point. And that's the Orpa. Oh, Not able to dinks. Here comes the flurry of frags. This time, CT's actually still finding frags. Kadian surviving. Let's not forget the AWP is in play. Dunk down to low. Three seconds. Yeah, that bomb needs to go down. It's still sitting in the middle of the site. Kadian could win this still. That bomb needs to be planted. Keto hoping the frag is given to him. It will not be gifted. A good flash, though, does buy him time to set up. And <gasps> Kadian had a chance. Onto Zantaris. Oh. Stown's found one. Two missed shots. Stown, can you save him? Dig him out of this hole. He needed one bang. Oh, he's low now. One bullet would do it. Can't find. There it is. War of attrition. Zantaris is low, too. Zantaris seems almost unhittable at times. These boys are struggling. But would they find him? Previously, he was kind of towards dark. Now, more towards default. Let's position be noted. No kit, of course, on the CT side. No armor either. So it's all in on this and Zentaris. <sighs> By 7 HP, has it? That was close. That was very <laughs> close. It was just USPs, a saved AWP, and a saved Deagle. And they still managed to get it down to a one-on-one -on -one situation. So really, really good stuff from Heroic here, even though they're unable to convert. If we want to paint the positives, they're threatening regardless. So as we move forward, that is 11 on the board for Big, but the guns come out now. Will Heroic be able to mount something a little bit more potent? He's going to be frustrated with that one right there, and you can see it here on Stown's face with the space above uh, his bed. He's in our universe. Interesting right. smoke. Coming in from the other side of ramp. We, well, we spoke about that before. Stown pushed up. And actually, yeah, it does catch Thompson very early in their mid-aggression. That's a rare change of pace. Look at the space they've taken at A. They're already up Tetris. Barov has no idea. Where has this gap come from? Is it deliberate? Yeah, it must be. Oh, and Nico aggressing through the connector has plucked out one. Now two backs turn his silence. Now added and spread to Kadian as well. He's been silenced and now with Searson gonna set himself up for that. The bomb can go down. That's gonna be responsibility of Searson to recover it over towards the ramp room. Tessa's hoping and praying he gets a freebie through jungle, but doesn't seem to be the case just yet. Smoke will be fading. I'd say, does Stown see anything here? Not... Uh -oh. wait, wait, he was this side? I thought it... Okay. Uh, Stown, yeah, really nice work, but you're not expecting that. And now the 2v2 is a bit uncomfortable. Xantaris was pushed up for almost the post plant. But wow. plays it back in so well. And now Tessa's called upon to deliver, but Xantaris has been a slippery character to get hold of. 22 HP. Oh, what? <laughs> glorious. Okay. Absolutely glorious. Okay. <laughs> Flashes himself on the peak, but it's enough for the pre-fire. That is a big 11th round for Heroic. Yeah. This is Stown's contribution again, just playing up by their own smoke. It's quite the punishment. Then Nico gets the timing on them. Really solid across the board. Stown even spotting another player there, and Tessus does manage to find himself this final frag. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> just the one shot before he looked to retreat. Well, the force by back from Big here. But why is not great on the heroic side of things? UMP's in place. Down, aggressive. Sees nothing. That's the spotting a couple over towards B. Might get the rotation coming on through. We can see Nico now popping through window over towards the B site to help. Looks like a fake will be going into the site. Smokes and flashes go over, but they're not committing. It's worked. Heroic taste their own medicine to an extent here. And they gather in middle. Cadian pivots after the silence that followed. It's going to have a lot to deal with if they start wrapping up connected with some fast P250s. A boost window as well, a threat. Smoke indicative of an A hit. Stown's gonna push it. And look what he finds on the other side. It's a double kill. Burning his toes throughout. Keto found another in the meantime. That's an AWPA gone. Keto recovers the very same weapon oh. and a tag. Zips up the body bag with a P250. Caught out by the Nico jump. Missed his shot. It's time to see some Nico AWP action. Oh dear. 
finished off by a long range UMP. That's no fun for anyone. 12 to 11. This one is going back and forth. It's nice to see a competitive game there of four to four in the second half. And an eight, seven half, of course, if you couldn't do the math yourself. Yeah, this is one of those brawly games. We put it in the bucket of clutches, playing a massive factor in these low buys being converted by both teams. We can't separate them right now, but as this trickles forward, Heroic are the ones on the receiving end of the lower economical situation, the T's. You can make more happen with less, right? You have the 2700, you can have some deagles, armor, all the names you cheap. need. On the, yeah, exactly. The CTs, look at them. They got nothing, they're going for a run. <laughs> nice old morning mid, don't you? Let's see, can we cut to like, yeah. Yeah, they've heard it. I, did they? Wait, no, I don't think. They do okay, now. now they did. Seriously, bomb mode engaged. Bomb. Oh, oh dear. No, 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 oh, no, 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 everything's no. fine. Okay. Still probably more than they were worth with five <laughs> USPs, really, to be honest. The fact yeah. that they've just run through like that and been able to pick up two big kills, taking down Keto and Sirison, the two highest fraggers right now on the side of things for that of the big clan. Can't be opposed, can you? Oh, things looking. You know, an exceptional on like ADR. Oh, dear. Ooh. Oh, dear. A little look, what, Tabson, I guess, towards big side. And a pretty equal that's performance. Some chibi -weebies. Yeah, chibi -weebies. That's some chibi-weebies. That's a perfect example oh, of chibis. Oh, there yeah. it is. I see a mug with a couple of Random. fluffy things. Uh, you've got some chibis in the mail recently. I haven't taken them home yet. Ah, so still here. There's the evidence of how useful a chibi-weebie is. Okay, Cadian. No armor either. That's a huge oh risk. And the wild God. spray doesn't quite find its prey. It's down, however. Probably putting his hands together for an escape plan. How on earth is he supposed to get out of this one? He's got no armor either. He's hiding in his smoke. Searson's taking all the space on B he needs. A double kill to get him there. He's down. He's still out and about here. Yeah, but I don't know Wait, what... did Kitty just fall off of B? With a loss bonus of, what, 2,900? They probably... Have to save. Yeah, yeah you're right. Bloody it's hell. It's no fun. This is the problem. Heroic, honestly, in the, the last three series Heroic and Big have played, Big have won every single map, right? So it's been six maps straight. A lot of the games have been double digits. It's been like this. They've been close games on paper when you take a look at it. But Big always get through. They always get across the line, and that's continuing right now. It is. Remember it's this a similar story. This is Heroic's map choice, right? They've chosen to take this to a different Touché. battleground, and Big have gone with Overpass again. Trying to save that AWP. First frag found from Katie and rattled off towards the ramp room. It seems that Big do have a stranglehold on this game now. Heroic, they're going to have to turn it around with what you're dropping. Do you want util? You're dropping a fam ass. It's no fun. This is the CSN opener. Whoa, he's working on the smallest margins there. Stout did manage to catch that trade on a reloading Xantares, but that was about all he could report. Oh, oh, oh. Everyone's a bit tetchy today on yeah. heroic side of things. They're looking a bit grumpy. Grumpy goats. Oh, lots of games, lots of days. What day are we again? Nine? Nine. 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 Okay, one more timeout left as heroic take their second last here on the first map, and they need to discuss a lot. You can reflect on the kills on your screen right here. And for those of you listening just with the audio, Sirius has got 26 to his name, 23 for Keto, 21 for Tabson, Centaurus with 15, 12 for Tizian. And then on the other side of things, 22 for Tassas. He's been having mm. a bit of a bit of a banger. 21 over there for Stown, 15 for Cadian, 13 for Nico, and 6 for Burrup. Seems to be struggling a little bit today, but hard to always find yourself in the action. And he also had a lot of impact in the first half with some multi-kills. So we'll leave it there. All right, back in we go. Big substantially more well-rounded purchase, of course. We do have the Famuses out, SMG out for the CTs. We've seen they're viable. They can work. Obviously not ideal. And the predominantly German side looking towards the B side of things to start with. Very passive spread from Heroic right now. Not going for any of those information plays that we've seen them doing on their CT sides in the past with multiple people pushing areas of the map. Just sitting back. Hadian's actually ready to take a shot and drop, and directly below him was Tessus to mop on up if it was a hit. But now that the time's... Oh, seriously, under Kadian, that should be the go. Yeah, I don't know what he's supposed to do here. Tessus just gets executed. Tizian flying out of the window. He's down hoping for the element of surprise here. And he does catch Tabson, an AK as well. Weapon he's more than capable of finding a way back into the site. They've got passive lines held, Stown's location known. Zantares found in middle, Stown very thorough. Three on three here. And there's definitely room to maneuver. Kits, no smoke. 
Here we go, Tizian shuts down Bore up. Nico tries to have a go of it, and now it leaves in Stown's hands. Two kills already. Not uh -huh. gonna find any Sisson. more. Sisson, Tizian, all these names. I am That's... loving seeing this guy pop off. 29 frags for him now. We're closing oh. in on regulation. It's it's very reminiscent of a simple performance we saw uh, in our first game of the day. That's about the break point he was at, but let's see how he just, yeah, quick <laughs> flick into the leg. He, Thought he had the off angle. Admittedly, that's a perfect example of the left eye peak. You guys got to see from Cadian's perspective first how little he saw before he was shot. Searson saw a full half of his body because the camera is mounted on the right-hand side of your body. So hear me out. We're heading to overpass next. It's a bit of an AWP as paradise. So if he's playing well here... Ooh. All right. Here we are. Bite your tongue, yet. Chatty. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, Keto can change my mind. Zatara's perhaps as well, but all these candidates now eliminated of round 27. Poor old Searson, we were just getting excited about him. Now he's thrust into a one versus four. Win this uh, and we'll get even more excited. Yeah, that's true. The money's not bad. He's got 8k spare, 7 on Tizian. And then doing all right for cash. Does he have a pop at it? Oh, God, I love him too, but he's a smart man. Nice little shelf he's found there. <laughs> Maybe do some more housekeeping. I mean, he knows the Persians are probably pretty weak for heroic. Lesser weapons across the board. They have been able to rummage up a few, though. If he kills two, Lauren, I'll start casting it like it's the Calavita finals. Okay. Um, I don't... Yeah, no, I'm excited for that. I don't think he's going to. No, but you never I'll know. i make that clear. Okay. Nico going down will be a start, and there it is. Okay, so... There's the hidden orb. No one can recover that. Stown's having a look, but couldn't <laughs> find it. And let's see how this double kill started. Look at that massacre. The fact is that there's no cover there. That's just two CTs pressing their crouch keys in perfect unison and putting the crosshairs in the right place. It's enough. Counter-Strike doesn't always have to be cogs turning and coordination. Numbers everywhere. Right, they went top mid. So did they. Heroic stopping them in their tracks. We're going to be a different look now as the smoke do fly out. Just the first towards ramp and top mid, respectively, for the CMT side. What's he up to? Straight through and on the nade as well. So using that to help go for infos. Katie, he keeps going, keeps pushing. And oh my god, onto <laughs> Zantaris. All right. Well, reinvigorated is Katie in here. Nico does not want to go down. You can see a passive stance to his play. And spotted a bar up and strafes himself back out of harm's way. Oh, Searson. He's being hunted, but he still hits his shots. That's magnificent. Now into the site, needs one more. Stown. Oh, he doesn't know where the bullets came from. He wasn't sure. Unable to pinpoint them. Now vulnerable, especially with his eye pressed to that scope. Bombs in middle, though. Searson, oh this is God, a big frag. And Nico did find his fight in middle as well, so the bomb's now loose, and Tizian got very few options ahead of him. It will come down to this first duel onto Nico. Oh. You rascal, Nico. You rascal. Okay. He's going to turn around, surely. Yeah. Surely? Surely? Surely. Nico. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little red faced after that one, especially if Tizian does anything more with this round. He's looking the complete wrong way as well. He doesn't know what just happened. Yeah, he's confused. No ammo in that one. Nope, none in that either. Finally gets his reload. It does give. Oh, dear. Not like that. Benny, Flames Benny. arrive, and so there's Bor up in the feed. So they pick up the pieces. Nico just caught unawares as he tried to tuck in and go unchecked. Can't blame him. Timing is everything. I would see. This is a perfect uh, summary of the like ships in the night. That was in... Oh, hi. <laughs> he was so surprised. Oh, dear. All right. Well, getting back underway. Money's very, very poor right now for Big, and they've opted to go for a partial investment on a couple of their players. They've had the success with the pistols in some previous rounds, but this one feels a little bit more unlikely. So it's just chugging over towards B. The flash is going to come over. They might just smoke to extinguish this Molotov. I think Tizian's let his fly into the site, so it won't be able to help them. Yeah, if they get a couple of frags here, oh, Tessus has just shattered their dreams in a very quick flick of the wrist from Stown. And adds a second to his tally. So B is tested, and Tessus and Stown say no. It's 15 to 14 here. You said, yes, typically it goes all the way, double digits, but historically Big have not dropped a map to Heroic in six instances. And so this could be their shot at an overtime. It will not be pretty for the T's. Certainly not ideal. Galil's in full util a priority. Mm. Absent. Interesting, I just... Did he throw a smoke from spawn? There's smoke top mid. Okay, so yeah, maybe. 
smoked top mid and bought a decoy to treat himself. Very proactive CT side here, pushing up A. Super attentive, double stack towards the apps. You, you know, the ramp pressure coming in. They're going to garner a fair whack of information from that. Whether or not they read into it fully, I guess, is up to them. This could be the right call. Look how far forward the CTs are on the radar. Everyone's clearing out middle right now. If Big pull the trigger and go instantaneously, they might get through. But now that Stown's rotated over, he will have an opportunity to get ahead of this smoke wall. God, there's a lot of smokes. Three of them about to rain into Stown's parade. He's flashed as well. Drops a smoke oh, to keep him guessing. But yeah, completely locked out. He uses his smoke to navigate safely to a new angle of assault. This is not where I'd want to be orping at this stage of the game, but Stown pulls off the first. A second as oh. well. The flames are there. Stown stands his ground. Need to see Tessus with one, but Keto says no, denies all of that, and the space is taken. Nico on a fast flank. Borup holding passive for now. Searson needs to be knocked off his perch by Kadian, and he has. This is for overtime. Heroic. Could have their dreams dashed by Keto and Zantares. It will come down to frags, but also the time. Don't forget the Molotov on Keto if he's alive. And already he certainly has done work, as has Zantares. It falls to Kadian. Kitten a smoke. And he's got to find two. Zantares. He does find Keto. Can't find safe haven. Zantares takes it. Big dude, too. The record continues.